be it that of Abu Fadl, be it that of Abu Abdullah, be it that of Amir al Mu'mineen, be it that of any of the Ahl al Bayt alayhim as salam. We've all felt it that as those tears fall from our eyes, we still don't quite have that closure. That closure is not there. And the time where we potentially begin to have that bit of closure is as we take on that journey of ziyara and we march to their haram. And we see their shrine and we take that step after step and you hand in your shoes and you're still holding it back. You get to the door and you seek permission and you're still holding it back. You enter into the sahan, you walk, you walk. In this moment you've been waiting for, you see that dhari, you hold on to it. And at that moment you just let go. And then you feel that feeling of relief. That you're now there with them. That at the moment of their death, you weren't there. But at this moment in your capability, now you are. And we feel that sense of relief. And there is only one lady in Ahl al-Bayt, alayhim as -salam. There's only one personality in Ahl al-Bayt, alayhim as -salam. That in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's wisdom, we don't have the chance or opportunity to take on this very journey. We got close to Sayyid Zainab, potentially having that journey cut off from us. And we all felt it inside, that filling, filling and filling, until you reach her shrine now, and again, you feel that sense of relief. But it's for Fatima alayhi salam, that maybe that sense of relief only comes at her door in heaven. That maybe Allah has reserved it such that that will be the only place where we can feel that level of relief. Where this emotion and this anger towards the enemy of Ahl al-Bayt alayhim as -salam, and this love for her will only feel a conclusion in the place where we know that she will absolutely be, which will be in the highest of heavens. And maybe physically we can't get there, but spiritually we can. So with your tears, with that aching heart, with that choking throat, and with that heaviness, let your soul ease the soul of Zahra. Let your soul connect with that of Zahra, Salamullah alayha, if she so wishes and if she so accepts us. And don't hold back, my brothers and sisters, because this could be the night where you begin your journey towards her and therefore towards the proximity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.